Thank you. I, I'm very glad to be here. I love a lot of the feedback I got from the other night uh, and from a lot of you in the last couple months. Uh, I, I am on your side and I'll help you learn about the products, learn about natural care. I got one feedback from my talk the other night and I want to be really clear. I am frustrated with conventional medicine for being blind, but I'm grateful for the technological advances. What I want to do is integrate conventional, traditional medicine. Conventional medicine has not been around very long. Its advancements came with antibiotics, saving lives of soldiers on the field, and that's a great thing. But then to surpass all of our traditional thinking, our, our nutritional aspects, actually imbalance the system. What we're seeing now, from the year 2000 onward, is a return to our roots. Who would have thought health foods 30 years ago would have become whole foods? Who would have thought that we'd see natural medicine in the pharmacy? That's the way it used to be, and it's returning. So I want you to know some of my best friends are medical doctors. Some of my closest associates are PhDs. Some of my closest allies are acupuncturists and chiropractors. It is never about the degree. It's about the person. It's about the mindset. It's about the ability to remove ego and open your mind. And in the end, not everybody wins, not everybody has success. And you can't necessarily judge everything by that, but you can judge by the intent. So I, I want to be clear that I'm frustrated with conventional medicine, I'm grateful for the advances, and what that does for you, am I speaking too loud? I got a reverb up here. You can turn it up back there? Okay, fine. Um, what that does for you, it allows us to bring natural medicine to the forefront. Because we can use the same pharmacological test, the same understanding of analysis and quality control to natural medicine as pharmaceutical. And it removes the, it, it, lo, it levels the playing field and removes the doubts. Because natural medicines work but if we look at the pharmaceutical model, they're using one synthesized ingredient. Highly purified, quantified, and then you take it. One synthetic ingredient at a time has powerful effects, but it's going to come with side effects. But at least we know what's in each capsule, in each bottle, dose after dose. That has been a big problem with natural medicine. Technology and following pharmaceutical lead, we can change that and bring a product that is consistent, that is quality control, that is natural, but will have consistent and reliable effects. That's why a lot of natural medicine doesn't work, and what we're aiming to do is to bring you the very best of what we learned from pharmacological advances, the advances in technology to deliver mother nature to us the way it should be, so you get the benefits of what's grown in the ground, what it can be delivered so we have physiologic effect. Derek made a statement earlier about the benefits and the limitations of uh, drugs, pharmaceuticals. We know that the roots of pharmacy always came from the rainforest, from the ocean, from the ground. Where did antibiotics come from? From mold, by accident. It wasn't some genius, it was by accident, <laughs> observing nature. Where did all the heart medications, a couple of people here told me they're on heart medication. Where are they coming from? Plants. They're coming from plants and trees. The number ones used in the hospital today, in the emergency rooms in the hospitals around the world that everybody is using are either coming from the rainforest in Brazil and Peru, or they're coming from plants grown uh, around from a flower. Malaria, what's the number one treatment for malaria? Quinine, where is that coming from? From a plant. And the plant source works better than the synthetic. And the next one will be Artemisian coming from a plant. So we take a look at aspirin. We take a look at one of the cancer treatments. The three best cancer treatments are coming from plants. So I want to be clear, this distinction between drugs and plants, or drugs and herbs, or drugs and natural medicine is artificial. It's often in how synthesized, how purified. 
how uh, manipulated they are a little bit. But what I like about natural medicine is that these plants, we grew in relationship to them. We don't make vitamin C in our body because nature or God knows that it's in our environment. And if we eat the right foods, we consume it, we have it, so we don't need the meta metabolic machinery to make it. Our bodies have to have a relationship with a product, anything that you take, to have a physiologic effect. Most of the herbs and the plants and the foods that we consume have been on this planet for millions of years. We have interacted with them. Our bodies know how to process them. And natural products have 50, 100, 500, sometimes over thousands of constituents. Carotenoids, flavonoids, vitamins, minerals, phytosterols, so many. We don't want to process them out. We want to keep them in there for a gentler and safer effect. That is what the Chinese figured out, the Tibetans figured out, the Africans, the uh, natives of Central and South America, the American Indians also did that. Highly purified substances have an effect that may save a life, but will never ever be cured. So what we want to do is provide supplemental support for you to achieve the best health that you can on top of a healthy lifestyle. Can a supplement save your life? Maybe, maybe not. Can you save your life? Definitely. I have a statement that I use is that every disease is curable, just not every patient. So, we know how to work and help people feel better. We just can't get inside your brain or inside your heart and have those changes be made. You have to make those decisions. You do that. On top of a healthy lifestyle, healthy diet, exercise, love in your heart, one foot in front of the other day after day, paying attention to what you eat, what you buy first, what you eat, and then making sure that you address what's eating you, supplements can be life transforming, life preserving, and life changing. They are all not created equal, and that's where I come in. Today it's me up here talking to you. I hope in the near future we'll have other doctors, medical docs, different degree people with their specialties. I know what I know and, and have extensive experience because I've worked with companies around the globe in developing natural products, disseminating the information, and making sure that what we want from a plant, or, or whatever the source, ends up alive, potent, pure, and active, so when somebody takes it, it's got the best chance of delivering the, those benefits. But I only know what I know, and the docs that I know, and the network of people, and the ones that are open to us are phenomenal. So as we open up different systems for women's care, for joint, for brain, for men, for blood sugar, for weight loss or weight management. I hope to have other specialists coming here and telling you this, but the message will always give you, your health is in your hands first and foremost. There is no magic bullet, there is no silver bullet that's gonna save your life magically and turn everything back. But we can try. <laughs>